Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I know footies is going strong and the content is insane and it's amazing. But what I want to do in this video is just kind of tackle the question of what could be next. Footies is ending, as we believe, in three days with batch three ending, all these cards going out of packs. We really don't know what is next. Hopefully we gather some insight on that later in the week. But what I want to do today is kind of talk about what could be next based off of how things have gone in years past and also have a little bit of a motivational speech maybe and just kind of put things into perspective because I think that this week of content is going to be the last week of the game that is really worth full sending. So I would just say if you're going for it this week, I think it's a great option really full send it and that's why i want to kind of talk through some things about what could be next with a preseason promo but also why this content right now probably will be the best content we have through the rest of this year so i want to take a look at that of course yesterday we didn't get the 85 times 10 that we were hoping for we wanted the unlimited repeatable version of that sbc we did not get it and we did get the R9 Moments SBC, 26 squads about 3.3 million coins craftable expensive ish a little bit, but still craftable, like I was saying. And again, the content continues to roll with eight more summer swap token objectives dropped. There's a lot to grind. Literally, it's endless on this game right now. And that's another reason why I think it's just the best week throughout the rest of this game right now for the last week of footy. So if you're kind of curious about what promo could be next, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about exactly that. And I've hinted at it a couple times in yesterday's video and even in the intro to this one. Talking about pre-season, some of you guys that played FIFA all the way to the end last year might remember this promo. Now, as you can see, the start date last year, it was at the very end of August, and that's why I'm a little bit skeptical, and that's why I'm going to preface this with, we are in the middle of August right now, right? This Friday is August 19th. What is too early for EA to start an end game promo? Are they going to do something else between now and between preseason? Or will they start preseason a little earlier this year since the leagues started earlier with the World Cup? Like, I don't know. We're just going to have to find out. But I want to talk about this promo just briefly because it is still a decent promo. And this one is very interesting because you get rewards that carry forward into your next year ultimate team, which is kind of big if you think about it. It's not super insane rewards like really big packs, but it's some stuff at the beginning of the game that can actually help you out a lot. And it's been nice the past two years that we have had this promo. So the whole point of the preseason is exactly how it sounds. It is basically a lead up into the start of FIFA 23, the next year's game. So last year with preseason in foot 21, they gave out a lot of these objectives and SBCs that you would complete that would give you um, items in FIFA 22, the next year's game. Coin boost. They had these daily warm up SBCs that you would complete five in a row to earn the coin boost, which is like, okay, I just did five SBCs to get five games with a thousand coins times two. Like, is it really worth it? If you're grinding the game at this stage of the game, I think that it is. Same thing with the Kickstarter packs. You got chemistry styles, gold rare contracts, some kits, and then a gold players pack, right? This is this is actually pretty big, especially the, the chance of packing, you know, some lower rated gold cards that are still pretty meta for a starter team or cards that you can use in one of those advanced SBCs early on. These gold players packs are nice. And then they have these league of your own packs, which were very helpful for starting off. Maybe you wanted to start the new year FIFA 23 with the Prem squad. You could take a three gold prem players pack with one rare and you maybe get some players to help you out that. That was the biggest thing with the preseason promo was playing the game, the old game, old, right? FIFA 22 this year, play FIFA 22 and get foot 23 rewards. That's the biggest part. Now we just had like five weeks in a row of insane cards re-released back into packs with bigger batches every single week. You know, this batch three of cards that we have in packs right now is going to be as good as it gets in my opinion. Now, last year during batch three of the uh, preseason promo, it also was pretty good, but that's that could be three weeks away from this Friday. So that's another reason why I think it's a full send time right now on this game. Now, also what comes out with this promo and what we saw in FIFA 20 was some of these cards. We only had like one or two of them last year. We had the premium SBC version of a 99 Ronaldo with the transfer to Manchester United. Really insane SBC last year. Everybody loved this at the end of the game. 
Back in FIFA 20, we had a Chelsea Timo Werner. We had a Leroy Sané at Bayern card after his transfer from Manchester City. We didn't have as many of those in FIFA 21 as we did in FIFA 20. So hopefully this year, we could, we could see a card like a transferred Holland, a transferred Nunez. There's so many great transfers that have happened. Kamavinga, Chalmeni, so many of them that have happened that if it would be great if EA Sports dropped some of these transfer SPC cards. So that was something that was not highlighted as much in FIFA 22, um, although it was... I'm sorry, 21, although it was in FIFA 20. So hopefully we see that as a part of this year because I think that would be a way that EA could step up the content from years prior in the preseason promo um, and give us kind of give us some more really cool big name SBCs and objective cards to still have fun with and grind towards and also kind of in that same mindset, get us ready for FIFA 23, thinking about the new game with those players being on their new teams represented in FIFA 23. So that would be really, really neat. And a lot of us are looking forward to that, myself included. Now, here's going to be what we're really looking for with the preseason promo. We would look for a loading screen. And last year, there was a loading screen dropped on, I believe it was the Wednesday before it started. So not today on Tuesday, but maybe tomorrow on Wednesday. Keep an eye out for a loading screen either Wednesday or Thursday. Now, again, again, I want to, I want to, you know, kind of finish off this point by saying it still could be a little bit early because we are in the middle of August. It's not like the end end of August or the beginning of September when it would feel normal for a preseason promo to start. So not entirely sure what's going to happen with the end of footies with the transition into what promo is next. But I just want to take a few minutes and talk about that preseason grind and preseason promo for a second before uh, getting into kind of what I want to talk about next. And that is why you should full send. Like I have 8 million coins and it's probably still too many, right? I want to keep a few coins for whatever is coming next. If they drop a Holland, if they drop a Darwin Nunez, you know, especially if you're big time fans of those players or of those clubs, you're going to want to do those SBC. So it, I'm not saying to full send and send your account all the way down to zero coins because you could absolutely do that right now with all the content that is out. But I just would say that if you're trying to like hold back on buying a player for your team or if you're waiting for a lower price or if you're like trying to wait for an unlimited 85 times 10 to craft and footy St. Maximin, you know, would you rather wait a week or two to start on that or would you just rather full send it now and get to play with the card earlier? I would say full send it because I sincerely believe that this is going to be the best week of content. What we have right now with all the summer swap rewards, with all the players that are in packs, we have two is it 200 cards in packs let me double check really quick and click the link i'm pretty sure it's 200 right yeah 200 cards that are in packs right now it's probably not going to get this good um throughout the rest of the game especially with the sbc content we have a 98 neymar a 99 veron and dembele a 97 saint maximin all the icon moments sbcs that are still available some footy's favorite cards that are still available on this game this is kind of how it actually went last year at the very end of footy's as well the last week was like a full send and then it started to get kind of quiet and then it dropped off into the preseason which really started getting us thinking about fifa 23 because it started to get kind of quiet apart from the, some really big player species like that ronaldo it got kind of quiet so that's the biggest reason why today and right now i just want to kind of put it in your minds and maybe motivate you a little bit and even motivate myself to keep grinding the game this week i know there's so much to do but take advantage of how insane the content is right now because it's probably not going to be like this for the rest of the game so if that's a little bit of the nudge that you needed to go out and do some more player picks or to go out and do you know that you know wh whatever upgrade pack that it might be or even full send a few coins uh and some cards in your club that you still have left that you're like man i don't need these guys then that's your motivation right there because there's no better time than the present to get involved with some of this stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at myself and I'm saying this too, because I still have way too many coins. Like I said, I still have way too many coins for the stage of the game. I mean, I need to have like five mil or less probably. And I'm still sitting here with eight. And so that's kind of my motivation for the next couple, next couple days of this week is to continue to full send, do a lot more of these player picks. I got to finish off some of my swap games, stuff like that to get the tokens, to get the bigger packs all that good stuff because I mean guys look at these player picks man I just like you can't beat this right now you you literally can't as I pack a team of the year I know not everybody's player picks look like that all the time and I just got lucky right there but just grind this week all right put in the work whether it's gold pack method whether it's whatever you need to do to get some stuff done in this game save yourself a little bit of coinage right like if I had 8 million, 
I'm going to probably at least save myself a couple mil and I'm probably going to have more than that by the end of the week anyways. But if you have like 500K, give yourself at least a couple hundred K to keep things moving. And if an SPC comes out that you want to do, you probably be able to craft it somehow. But We'll send it and just enjoy the content this week because I really think that it's not going to get any better than this. We have reached the peak of the footies promo and the content throughout this summer portion of this year on this game, in my opinion. So speaking of that, though, I know that all of the content right now requires a little bit of SBC fodder. And I want to take a look at our boys on the fodder market, right? Let's take a look at our Mr. Sabitzer. Fodder is kind of up, right? Of course, it was low on the weekend. Yes, the 85 times 10 is only repeatable twice per day, but still that made fodder prices go up and they're really not that down right now. Like Sabitzer is one of the cheapest 84s and he has 5,000 coins. Fodder continues to go up a little bit in price. 86s did really well yesterday. 83s went up a lot yesterday. It was all of this fodder that really moved because more demand and less supply. It's simple, right? Simple economics of it. 4K last night for the 84s, all the way up to 6K. Back down a little bit, but not much. Now, the thing that I'm a bit interested in is Tuesdays in the past couple of weeks have been the peak days to sell this SBC fodder. Now, how could that change this week? Well, Wednesdays, prices were dropping because of a voting SBC, which we probably won't have this week if footies is ending, unless EA has something up their sleeve they're going to pull on us and continue footies for like another week or two or something. That'd be crazy and unexpected. But I is fodder really going to drop Wednesday, Thursday of this week, specifically on Wednesday, before we get into like, you know, rivals rewards on Thursday, marquee matchups, I would expect it to drop then. But could fodder actually have another day to rise today into Wednesday instead of going down on Wednesday? with that tradable supply that we usually get because usually I'm sitting here saying, okay guys, Tuesdays, see the peak today and maybe sell some of the cards. Really not so sure about that today because I think they could go even higher into another day as people are still crafting, people are still full sending. We could have another footies favorite SBC today. The last one that we had was Anthony last week. And if you remember the week before that, we had LaCroix. So I think we are due at least one more footies favorite, and it's not leaked as of right now, but we could have another one of those SBCs today on the game, just kind of thinking from how things have uh, progressed and moved content-wise through these last couple weeks of footies. So I'd watch out for that today, but you know, fodder probably going to go a little bit higher today, even though it seems a bit crazy. Don't expect any tradable supply today unless EA do something with a token SBC that would bring some tradable supply, which could happen, but I'm not expecting that to impact the market a ton. So stock the fodder pre-content. Once again, probably not as big of a rise today as you saw yesterday on some of the 84s and stuff. But again, everything in this game needs the fodder and once again the 85 times 10 being a little bit um you know I, the price here is not in, it's not correct it's not 161,000 coins i think that's because people are doing it twice and it's about 70 75,000 coins to do maybe 80k with fodder going up a little bit and it's repeatable twice that's why that value is there but 85 times 10 it would have been so awesome if that was unlimited repeatable but i guess ea sports is trying to milk that sbc just a little bit more, which is unfortunate, right? We were really hoping and really thinking that, that yesterday was going to be the day, and it wasn't. Now, we did call the R9 SBC correctly. 3.3 million coins. Again, with all the fodder that you can get right now, it is craftable, but it's still a lot. Um, you know, this guy on the market, it's still about 3.7 million coins. After his SBC dropped, he was 3.5 at one point. I mean, I completely understand if you want to go and do this SBC. I'm not stopping you at all because it is an end game ultimate striker right r997 this dude's always 15 million coins and first comes out and here we are in august and he's got an sbc grind it if you really really want it that's what i would say about everything right now if you want it go ahead and get it also today on tuesday let's kind of transition into this for a second what kind of content could we see today 94 plus shapeshifters player pick is going away as we have seen the last couple tuesdays they have brought it back maybe just maybe they'll bring it back as a 95 plus today and be extra nice to us uh, we'll just have to see. I think this week of footies will really start to realize if it's going to be the end of footies because I feel like some of this player pick content might start to tail off a little bit because I think EA would know that with the batch three cards going out of packs on Friday, if they don't re-release anything in packs, people are not going to have any motivation to grind SBCs, to grind upgrade packs and be on this game. Now, some of the other SBCs are still going to be out past 
uh, Friday. Like the 85 times 10 is still out until next Monday. So I think there is going to be the pre. That's another reason why I think the preseason promo will start because the 85 times 10 is out for seven days. It does not expire until, you know, next Monday. So it would be out and available during batch one of preseason um, that could be coming out this Friday. So that's just kind of one thing that I was just thinking through. But really, I do feel like this is the end of the footies promo. So especially for like Varan, three days left. Usman, five days left. By the way, I did this card, used him in the France Cup. A little bit of a fraud. I can't lie for me. But I'm so excited to craft the Neymar. I'm, I'm excited even to do some like French tots or shapeshifter player picks. I even want to hit a few more footies player picks because... I, there's still guys that I want to pack that I have not packed. And this is my time to go ahead and get them, right? I would love to take a shot at 99 Ronaldo. Haven't packed him. Haven't packed Hazard. Haven't packed Vinny Jr. No Benzema for me yet. And the guy that I really want the most, besides like a Ginola or a Kyle Walker, that'd be pretty sick. But the guy that I want, want the most still is this man right here. Hyunmin Son, Shapeshifter 97. Instantly into the Spurs team and would love to use this card. Use the Tots red for so long. Uh, there are for not so long, but for a long time during team of the season, I would really love to have the 97 version of this card for a little bit of the club collection. So that's got me still chasing the player picks and of course, grinding the Neymar, grinding probably the St. Max, getting all these SBCs done that I want to have in the end game club for the end game, you know, just to it also some of these SBCs are just going to be nice to have in the club is super subs. And even if they don't make it into the main team, just because it's such a fun grind right now. Going out and completing some of these SBCs, it's just part of the fun grind. So that's kind of what I would say for, you know, just put the work in this week. I know it's like, man, this game right now is incredible um, and it's not going to stay that way. So I just kind of want to put that in perspective because there's always ebbs and flows with content. And I feel like we are in an ebb right now and it's it's probably going to flow pretty soon. Now, also with cards that would be, you know, leaving packs, I think about a guy like Messi, like Ginola was 1.185 yesterday, a lot of panic selling ahead of what people were hoping was a repeatable 85 times 10. It didn't happen. Same thing with Messi. He was down under 1.5. They are now bouncing back up in price. Same thing with like Ronaldo. A lot of those cards that are very meta, still very um, up there in price. Marcelo is another great example. Marcelo, I think we even shouted him on yesterday's chain, uh, yesterday's video. Marcelo was 400k right before content, and now he is back up to like 480,000 coins. And it's just because people are going out and buying the cards that they want to use. So, yes, there's a possibility that some of these cards could get re-released back into packs. But we'll talk more about that towards the end of the week when we get towards uh, Friday and looking at what this next promo is going to be about. What's EA going to do? Is it going to be preseason? We'll have to see. So I just kind of wanted to take this kind of a opportunity today to talk about what's next and kind of just talk about grand scheme of things, look down through the week and just maybe motivate you guys a little bit to really grind out what's going on in FIFA right now, because this to put it into perspective. This is the best content of the year entirely with all the SBCs, all the players. And I think it's going to be the best week of content until this game is over. So that's why I would absolutely be grinding hard right now on the menus. If you have the coins, if you have the motivation for it, um, there's no better time to be on FIFA, in my opinion, than right now. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you're like, Nate, what should I grind right now in this game? You know, what, what's the best way to do the SBCs? I think the player picks are great. I think the 75 times five is great. I love that they continue to release the 60 to 64. You can grind all the way bronze pack method all the way to these upgrade packs into the common gold, into the 75 five, like every angle of the market besides league SBCs is really grindable. And every, every part of the menus is really grindable right now, uh, which I love. So GG's to EA once again, we're just the great footies content. We can't go without saying GG for that. But also, if you're enjoying the uploads on the channel and you're not subscribed, do so and hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated as well. Have a, have a good Tuesday. I'll see you in the Twitch stream today, and I'll see you guys later. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.